is not religion. Vodou concerns the nature. That's why we can say Vodou, it represents the nature. In Vodou tradition, Vodou represents the four elements of this nature. Fire, water, the wind, and the earth. It's clear? So, an example, the land represents Sapata, is the god of earth. And the fire, we have the god help you so in Africa. Okay, you know after we buy the animal, we have the way to conserve it. Some of them are die natural, but some of them are live one we can use in the medicine for sacrifice. So, after we buy the animal, we have the antibiotic leaves to make in powder to put in the stomach of the animal before we keep all in dry. So it can make five, eight years or ten years before they will spoil. This one represents the god of voodoo. Voodoo? Yes. Is that a penis? It's a leg. Why does he have two penises? Yes. It will represent the god of fertility. Oh, okay. That's why he got four penis. Four? Two up and two down. Yes. Oh, he has penis on his feet? Yes. Okay, here we are in the temple. And then, we have to come back over here. First, you will give your name to the Guru priest for blessing. And then after that, he will share the pity to you and give you the explanation. Make whatever name for that. And this one is for love. It's for love. So an example, when you are single, you can use to find your love. But when you are in couple, you will use to touch your love to not separate it again. An example, when you are in couple, you will hold it in the left hand and you will drop it the perfume. Three drops of perfume on that. And then after that, when you are woman, call the name of your husband three times after your name. But when, when you are man, call the name of your woman first before you rub it and you will throw it away into the sea or in the river. Your love is tied forever and ever. I was very excited about this part of the trip, actually, mm -hmm. um, because for Voodoo to still exist mm -hmm. here and to be out in the open in the middle of the city, mm -hmm. the way it is here in Lomain and probably in Cotonou, it had to survive the Muslim invasion and conversion as well as waves of Christianity. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's just fascinating. It's something that you're not going to see or experience if you're not here. Different uh, and new experience. Mm -hmm. um, I got to get an explanation of um, the spiritual world with this. Mm -hmm. um, quite intriguing, mm -hmm. uh, but the key to all of this is that you've got to believe. And now you will open your left hand, please. Join, join. So we are the fetish market. Um, I call this one market. Try and bargain. Try and bargain. Bargain for what? Yeah, bargain like they're going to sell things for you. Like bargain for whatever amulet or whatever amulet you want to buy. If you they, do want to buy it, amulet. if you do want to buy it, and they also have like some craft things over there if you want to buy. It. So yes, good luck. Uh, we have 45 minutes. Who you buying that for? You sell? Yeah, it's oh. all white. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. How much was it? 7000 Can I see my friend? Hold it up. 7000 Hold it up, hold it up. Well, that's the normal price, but you have to speed it down. Oh, that's pretty. It's a nice price. Yes, yeah, so where are you going to do with that? I'm going to give it to my pastor's wife, the first lady okay. of the church. All right. Nice. Like that. You okay. can wash it. You all right, all right. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's real nice, actually. <laughs> I like that. I'll go back and buy that, honestly. <laughs> Je vous souhaite le bienvenu. Yeah, once again, welcome. Je vous ferai écouter l'histoire de la maison. I'm going to tell you the Et story après, of the on houses. Va, et après, on y va à l'intérieur. And then we will go inside. Du retour, si vous avez des questions, vous pouvez la question, vous donner la réponse. And after the tour, if you have questions, you et can ask your questions. You are in the house called Slave House. 
Uh, it's a house that was used as a, a slave house where they come in and put slaves. And so I took another ignore. And uh, history has been ignored. Ignore parce que le commerce de si a eu lieu dans la clandestinité. Uh, it has been ignored because the slave trade that went on here was hidden. Donc c'est au moment où la toute première révolution a eu lieu que les commerçants ont eu l'occasion de s'installer ici. Uh, it was when slavery was finally abolished that European still came to hide here and continue the slavery. Pour ici, ils ont débuté en 1830. And they started it in 1830. And it terminated in 1852. And ended in 1852. In 1852, the abolition of Nigeria. So in 1852, the slavery was abolished in Nigeria, Lagos, by uh, the Queen Victoria. You got to do African ancestry. They give you more details as far as your roots and all that. Yeah. This is uh, the hall of you know the uh, slave masters. So they were here drinking, partying, doing everything while the slaves were still on the So to give them food, drinks, anything, they just, you know, and, and drop it down. Oh, no, I meant before the house, before the slaves, you know, was this, or after, was this a, 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 an affluent family, or was this a house that a... I built it for the slaves. Okay, so, 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 like he said, First, when slavery was abolished throughout the coast, right. some few Europeans decided to, to, skip, to yeah. skip and they came right. and put up this structure. Right. And, con yeah, and continue the slavery. When the church was built on top of the slavery. Right, right, right. right. Over time. This is crazy. Yeah. The fact they kept it going after the fact, right? Yes. The indication of how economically strong slavery was, yes. mm -hmm. people would circumvent the queen. Right. It was like the crack and, of the 1800s. And, and hide slaves in a home in the basement while living a normal life on the first and second floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing.